I've been to one rehab before. Uh, I was there for a week and I ran away. I've thought about giving it up a lot of times. I've tried once, but the craving was just too much. On day three, the detox process is complete and Rocco and Francis's urine tests come up negative for heroin. I'm feeling fresh, better than ever. <laughs> feeling happy, being able to even laugh. I've never even laughed without having a smoke. So today now, I'm going to start you on a special tablet that's going to block those heroin receptors. Now, Trexone has FDA approval and is non-addictive with few side effects. Right, open your mouth. Professor Charles O'Brien is a psychiatrist at the Addiction Center at the University of Pennsylvania and says now Trexone has a good track record in America. For uh, opiate addicts, it's a 100% success rate if they take it. So if you give them um, the um, medication, like for example, the study that was done in, uh, in Russia, they were randomly assigned to either the depo, now Trexone, or placebo, and uh, the, the success rate was very, very high for those people getting their trucks out. I think maybe in that case it was, you know, 80 or 90 percent. But because as long as they're on it, they're, they're protected 100 uh, percent. The only people who would fail is those who stop the medication. On average, heroin addicts need between four to five fixes a day. That's 125 rand. That's just over three and a half thousand rand a month and well over 40,000 rand a year. But the personal costs are very seldom quantified. You know, apart from rehab, we also supported their habit. We used to give them their monies for their drug in the morning and afternoon. What? Just that they don't become criminals. We know they, be, they are drug addicts. We didn't want them now to become criminals as well. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that you had to give them money in the morning and the evening so that they could buy drugs and that that was your best option? Exactly. Absolutely, yeah. Are you boy? On the fourth day, Rocco's family came to visit him to see his progress. The Gomelin four days has done this. Oh, three, four years, three years now. I haven't seen you smile even, Lucas. Hey? Yeah, I got my boy back. Hey? And it's so nice to know that there's something that can make a difference in three or four days compared to the struggle we've been through for this last year. The program has completely transformed the lives of the Maharaj family. As much as we prayed to God that we want this difference, we want the change, we wanted a miracle, but the miracle was around for many, many years. This is why I can't understand why didn't someone do something about this earlier. If now Trexon has been out there for the last 40 or so years and it is a wonder drug, then why is it that we haven't known about it? There's no profit left in this drug. There's no patent on it. So most drug companies will not be interested in marketing it. It's day six and Rocco and Francis have completed the program and are ready to face the real world with the help of now Trexon. I don't actually want to ever go back to it, to have that every day suffering, every day having to get up and look for money. I mean, just still, and so, so I'm glad I can just wake up and live a normal life again. Never, I'm never gonna go back to it. After seeing what it's done to me and uh, the pain it's caused my family, I don't want that life. Now, Check Zone costs about 1,200 rands a month and is a lot less than a drug addict would spend scoring drugs. Dr. Naidu believes that it should be offered by the state to all drug addicts. I think it's high time that this is accepted as a medical disease like diabetes, hypertension, accepted by the medical aids, affected by the medical funders. Because if you look at the consequences of the addiction, as far as crime goes, costs to the criminal justice system, we're talking of massive amounts of money, more than any other diseases in the world. The pill cannot be taken in isolation. All patients and family members have to go to counseling on a regular basis. And we tell people that without psychosocial counseling, individual counseling, group counseling, family counseling, people are not going to do well. Tell us how was your week so far? Wrestling with sleeping, but now it's gone okay. Prakash, what is your success rate? At least half of them are still clean. Are there patients of yours who haven't relapsed? It is a chronic relapsing disease. But uh, we allow people to get their life back on track. They may relapse. 
but they have a formula now to get back on track. On day 11, we arranged to meet Rocco and Francis again to see how they were coping. Bye-bye. That was Rocco's mum. We were on our way to interview Rocco to check on his progress. And she's just let us know that Rocco has disappeared from home. Francis, on the other hand, was doing exceptionally well. It's a wonderful. His mother, Nokwazi, is thrilled. But today, it's my little angel. My Francis of the years. A month after their treatment began, we asked Rocco why he went missing. He said he had an argument with his family that morning and is struggling to fit back into society. I thought about using drugs, like heroin, but I didn't go and score anything. Although the road is long, both Rocco and Francis are looking for work and they've managed to stay off the heroin. Okay, well done. How are you feeling now? Are you having any... I'm feeling happy. You're feeling happy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, one day at a time. But um, there's a big difference uh, from the... Uh, a few weeks back. Now I can actually wake up and think of something to do. Not actually just waking up and thinking of, hey, where am I going to get the money to smoke? I see that there is a future now.